Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about system services on your iPhone. So as you probably know, if you head onto your iPhone and you go to your settings, once you go to privacy and security and then go to location services, if you scroll all the way down here, you will find something called system services. Now, when you go here, you will find a bunch of different settings, a lot of different stuff that it's actually using your location. Now you will need to turn off a lot of these, mostly because they will use GPS on your device, that way consuming a ton of battery on your iPhone iPhone. As you probably know, when it comes to devices, GPS is one of the things that will use the most battery power. So of course, there are also privacy concerns. So you want to make sure that you have these settings configured the right way. So in today's video, I will show you guys everything that I believe you should turn off right here on this list of settings. Now, first of all, I will show you guys a setting right here that you should turn on always. So make sure you just scroll all the way down here and you will find something called a status bar I icon. Now this will show the icon right there on the status bar whenever one of these services is using your location. So you can see right here the explanation, you will have the setting here. So make sure you have this turned on always. So you always know when something is actually using your location. And we're starting with the first one. It is called alerts and shortcut automations. Now what this will do is that it will use your location to send you different alerts and also give you shortcut automation suggestions. So when you go somewhere, it will maybe remind you to call someone and things like that. Now that might be a good feature to have or probably most of you guys won't ever use it. But it, of course, it will actually use your location, meaning that it will basically track your location all the time using GPS, just letting you know when you arrive somewhere to call someone or do something. So that's why I believe you must turn that off. The next right here will be Apple Pay Merchant Identification. Now, what this does is basically if you're using the physical Apple card, which most of you 99% probably won't ever use, it will identify the merchant where you're buying. And there have been a lot of times when this actually has been wrong and it didn't identify the merchant properly because it uses location, meaning that if you're on the store, it might just like identify the store that is next or some like that. Next right here will be device management. Now for device management, you should only use this if you have a device that is managed by someone else, like if you have a work phone or something like that. Otherwise, this is not necessary at all for you. So you can just go ahead and turn that off completely. Now you will also have here home kit. This is another one that I believe you must turn off. Of course, if you don't actually use home, like the home features of the iPhone on your home, then you don't actually need this feature at all. All it's doing is just consuming a ton of battery on your iPhone. So go ahead, go to HomeKit here and make sure you have that disabled as well. The next one will be motion calibration and distance. Now what this is doing is actually using your iPhone's GPS to actually help the Apple Watch track your motion and also the distance if you're like using the fitness features on the Apple Watch. Now a lot of people won't have an Apple Watch so you don't actually need this at all and even if you have an Apple Watch if you don't actually use the fitness features on the Apple Watch you should turn that off as well. The next one will be setting a time zone. Now setting a time zone on the iPhone will be automatic. Of course your iPhone will actually like know where it's at and will change the time zone. But most likely most people don't need their iPhone to be constantly setting their time zone. And even if you turn this off completely right here, your iPhone will still use your IP address when you connect to the internet to actually know where you're at and change the time on your iPhone based on that time zone. So this is another one that is actually unnecessary. And also right here, search and suggestions. Basically what it, what Apple is doing here is using your location to send you suggestions and search. Another thing that is actually not important for iPhone users, even though it, you turn this off, it won't be able to use your like GPS to know where you're at. So it sends you the suggestions and the search like suggestions, it will still be able to to do that because it uses again the IP address where you're connected to so it always knows where it's at. 
The next one right here will be significant locations. Now this is an interesting one. If you use this feature and you go right here, you will see that you will have a ton of records right here. Now what it does, it basically keeps track of the like places that you visit frequently and you go like a lot of times and you have those like repeated patterns that you go to that location it will show them all right here again another feature that will most likely just like drain a ton of battery out of your iphone because it's always keeping track of your gps movements and things like that so this is another one that i believe you must turn off going back here you will have a new se another section actually here called product improvement now what you're doing here is basically with these settings you're helping apple improve their products like improve the location right there iphone analytics so it will send your analytics from your iphone to apple and then you will have traffic routing and you will also have improved maps all of these settings are settings that will basically send information to help apple improve their products so these are settings that also believe that the iphone user doesn't need to actually have turned on so i would just go ahead and turn these off completely these will be settings that will basically just consume a ton of battery especially the ones using your maps because when you're moving it's all the time active of course sending information and collecting information all that will just drain the battery out of your iphone so i suggest you also go ahead and turn that off completely now these are the settings that i think you should turn off on your iphone when it comes to the system service settings now what i think i have to say here is that there are a few settings here that you should always make sure that you have turned on now this video of course we talked about turning off settings but just a reminder make sure that you always have a few of the settings here turned on so check your list of settings here and make sure those are on emergency calls and sos always make sure that you have it turned on it is really really important also find my phone of course you want to be able to use that feature you want to be able to track your iphone in case it gets stolen or lost so make sure you have that enabled as well so these are the settings that you can find on the system settings on your iphone that i believe you must turn off always these will help by of course turning them off with the performance and the battery of your iphone and also if you have any privacy concerns you can turn them off even though when it comes to privacy apple is always very very good and of course they work a lot on the iphone's user privacy but for the performance and the battery of your iphone go ahead and turn off those settings but always make sure that you have turned on the settings that are really important there that i just showed you guys which of course are settings that are essential to you and you must have turned on so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you found it helpful if you did make sure to smash that like button and of course subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and i will see you on the next one.